Hello, everyone. Um, I'm here very briefly to tell you about St. John's signature event, Sculptor St. John, August 7th to September the 20th, 2014, four and a half months away, and I can feel the excitement already growing. What is the New Brunswick International Sculpture Symposium? We didn't begin this process. It started in 1959 in Austria. Dr. Prannell gathered a bunch of his friends together and said, we need to teach people more about sculpting and about public art. So we didn't, re we didn't invent it. It's been done all over the world, but we had our first in 2012 in the front Coast Guard base. This year, it's going to be in, out on Water Street. Uh, it's open to the public, free admission, and we had over 125 volunteers. In 2012, we had over 35,000 people attend. This year, we hope that we'll have 50,000. Everybody here, I need you to come down at least more than once. Uh, in 2012, six international artists and six New Brunswick interns, Allison Gayton being one. <laughs> <laughs> and what we do is encourage New Brunswick artists and training young artists to become sculptors. Um, in 2014, ours is going to be bigger and better than it's ever been before. This year, eight sculptors were chosen from over 47 different countries, 165 artists applied. It was a tough job. Uh, Sussex, Hampton, NBC St. John, Waterfront Development, Grand Bay Westfield, Blacks Harbor, St. Andrews, and St. Stephen will all be receiving wonderful pieces of public art as of September 20th. Our artists for, for this year will be Jim Boyd, who had a piece in St. George last year, and this year he'll be going to do a piece for Hampton, New Brunswick, and Jim is our New Brunswick artist. Uh, the next one is, see, John Gogabarishvili. Everybody ha has a quiz at the end of this to say John's last name. Uh, John is from Republic of Georgia, and he was here last year in, two er, last in 2012, and he did a piece for UNBSJ. This year, John's piece is going to be going to St. Stephen, and they're really excited about having him. Hiroki Asano is from Japan, and Hiroki is his piece is going to NBCC in St. John, and he did the piece that is now at Rockwood Park. Everybody has been there and, and uh, looked at it and seen it and, and loves it, right? Fatia Baudin is from France, and Fatia's piece is going to be going to Grand Bay Westfield. These are now expanding out beyond that, and uh, we want to go all the way eventually from Riverview, New Brunswick, or Oromocto, down to St. Stephen. Hugh Chi Fong. Hugh Chi Fong was from Malaysia originally, and he grew up in Australia. Wonderful artist, and you can see some of the beautiful ripple effects that he does with black granite. It's, it's quite an amazing work. And Hugh Chi Fong is going to be going to Sussex, New Brunswick. Peter Petrov is from Bulgaria, and Peter's piece is going to be going to Black's Harbor. And uh, he does really enormous, wonderful pieces, so they're, they're uh, pretty pleased, and it's going to be going to the new, new entrance to the new park in Black's Harbor. Karen Van Omeren is from the Netherlands, and uh, Karen has great experience in doing granite pieces and making granite really uh, create waves in the, in the, the uh, pieces themselves, which is very difficult with a very hard stone like granite, but she does, she does quite amazing pieces. And Karen's piece is, uh, is going to be going to St. Andrews. Hitoshi Tanaka is from Japan. Hitoshi is going to be part of the uh, waterfront development, and so his piece you will be seeing down at the waterfront. Um, I have brought maps for everybody if you'd like to take one with you. This is an exciting concept that we started, and it's to increase tourism into those smaller areas. And so what we're creating is when we're finished, we'll have 72 pieces of public art between Bangor, Maine, and uh, Riverview, New Brunswick. And so we've created an international sculpture trail, and I have a map here that everybody can take home and follow that trail. <clears throat> Excuse me. Our goal is to create that international piece, these international uh, sculpture trail by 2020 of 72 pieces. For us, the six-week event really is about education, educating people about public art and how that public art is made, how it's created, because I think too often we, we look at a piece of public art and we don't really appreciate how it's made. And we want to have everybody from young children to everyone else in the world understand a little bit more at the end of this about how public art is made, and that's our goal. Um, so get involved. You can follow us on Facebook or Twitter. You, uh, there's our website. You can donate. You can volunteer or come out and be a sponsor. But please, whatever you do, come and visit us during, during our six weeks on the waterfront. <laughs>